switched off, like not switched off. Hey guys, and welcome to Dubai Job Search with Winning Strategies. Today, you're going to be learning about, in the previous show, we, we taught you what things you should be doing during your job hunting strategy in Dubai to help make sure that your application is successful. Today, we're going to be doing a deep dive. Three things you must avoid at all costs if you plan on making sure that recruiters and HR professionals invite you back to a job interview. So I'm known as Vitsa Viha. I work internationally helping ambitious, motivated job professionals just like you land your dream jobs in international countries. And I'm joined by my fabulous co-host, Trisha Chapman. Hey, Trisha. Um, so what should people know about you and how are you helping job seekers sort of kind of live the dream in Dubai? Fantastic. As always, thank you so much. I'm Trisha Chapman, the managing partner of Impressive CV, and I focus on all of the necessary tools for a successful job application. So these days, what does that mean? CV writing, of course, cover letters, LinkedIn, and more importantly, personal branding. Fantastic. And we're definitely going to be diving into that because as I mentioned at the top of the show, we're going to be talking about three of the things that you need to stop right now. If you are doing any of these three things, you need to stop doing them right now. And we're going to give you strategies and we're going to give you tips and hacks of what you can do instead. Why? Because we want you, yes, you, who are watching us right now. And by the way, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure that you do and hit that bell button to get notifications of when we release our latest videos. We want to show you the sort of kind of way so that you can job hunt with success so that you stop struggling and you start thriving with your job hunting because we and I Trisha and I know how frustrating it can be how sort of demotivating it can be how frustrating it can be when you're motivated and you're ambitious and you've got dreams and you want to land that dream job in Dubai but you're finding that just somehow you are not getting the response you're not getting the results that you want so these are three things right now that if you are doing are preventing you from achieving that dream goal so let us know in the comment section are you somebody who is motivated are you somebody who's ambitious are you somebody who is driven and wants to land that dream job in Dubai if yes let us know in the comment and if you're resonating with any of the three tips that we're going to be sharing with you today and perhaps maybe you've made this mistake and the reason why we're talking about these mistakes is because we see our candidates, the candidates that we work with. In fact, I'd probably be guilty of it myself um, way, way in the past. And so we want you to avoid that so that you can create ease and, you know, job hunting shouldn't be stressful. It shouldn't feel overwhelming. You shouldn't feel as if you're losing the plot whilst you're job hunting. And you do that by using the winning strategies that we're going to be talking about today. So Tricia, what is Hack number one, what is the first thing that if somebody is doing that they need to stop doing now? What is that first thing? What's that number one common mistake that you are seeing job seekers make? Yeah, I think it's a really uh, good point that we're covering because I'm recruiting for a couple of positions at the minute and I am seeing this across the board, no matter what sector that I'm hiring for, um, I'm seeing this issue. And that is you using the one resume for all of the applications that you are applying for. And it is evident. So you've just not looked at the job description, not looked at the job titles, not looked at any of the necessary skill sets, whether that's hard or soft skills. And then the CV purely does not match that job description. I'm not asking for it to be 100% to the T, dotting your I's, crossing your T's, as they say, but at least put some time and effort into having a look at the requirements so that you can potentially be shortlisted. Yeah. Oh, my God. 100%. I've seen people make this mistake. And then you wonder why. If you're sitting here right now, having sent out, say, perhaps 50 CVs, resumes in the last sort of like, you know, few days or weeks, okay, and found that you've got zero response, Ding, 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 ding. You have a winner. You are probably making this mistake right now. You know, and there's no shame in this. We're not here to sort of kind of shame you. But what we are here to do is teach you what you should be doing instead. So say perhaps, Trisha, someone has taken this approach. Someone watching this show right now has made this mistake. Um, you know, it's what I call the scattergun approach. It's, um, you know, it's letting basically as recruiters, as people who help people sort of kind of long, uh, you know, land dream job offers to, you know, um, get multiple job offers. Um, 
we know it's lazy. It's right. It's lazy. And um, that's the impression that you're creating about yourself. Um, and really, honestly, is that the impression that you want to leave with a recruiter? Is that the impression that you want to leave with somebody who's in a position to change your life? OK, so what's the flip side of this? For sure? What could they be doing instead of taking this scatterbrain approach, which, let's be honest, isn't getting you the results anyway? Yeah, I think at the end of the day, just spend five or 10 minutes scanning through the job description, editing your CV so that you've at least got, you know, 80% compatibility match. So, for example, sometimes maybe a marketing uh, manager role requires team leadership. Maybe it says specific uh, digital marketing tools that you need to be uh, included or the job description says it. You need to include those on your CV. If you're in programming and there's, say, Python on the job description um, or C++, maybe Make sure that your CV also mentions this somewhere. Most importantly, though, with quantifiable metrics of how you use that skill. Don't just list it. Show me the evidence or the results of and the outcome of you uh, implementing those skill sets. Oh, I love that. And I know tip number three that you've got kind of dives a little bit into that in more detail. So we're going to come to that. So make sure that you stay tuned to the end. But also as well, Trisha mentioned um, that, you know, she's recruiting for roles um, and Trisha has an exclusive membership um, that we're going to be talking about right at the end of the video. So if you are somebody who's watching all of this and you're now ready to take action, you're driven and you're thinking, you know what, but I want some personalized help. Because Trisha and I understand that for some of you, um, you know, walking this journey alone um, can be overwhelming and you're looking for additional support. So stay tuned to the end because we'll show you a really cost effective way of how you can do that, how you can get that help, but also as well, you can get access Oh my gosh, to all the exclusive job openings that Trisha and her team have, um, as well as some of the support that I can be providing for you as well as a career coach to help make sure that you achieve and use our winning strategies to the best possible motive. So what's tip number two? What's tip number two? What's the second thing that people should stop doing right now? They need to put a break on it to ensure that they create better results and more success in their job hunting in Dubai. Yeah, sure. So I think following up, because again, going coming from per firsthand or personal experience, you submit a job application or receive a job application in my sense. And then the very next day I get an email or a WhatsApp to say, hi, Trisha, did you receive my application? When will I be known uh, to be shortlisted? Or hi, Trisha, um, you know, when's the interviews? What's the What's the outcome of it? Bombarded with these types of questions, just, you know, 12, 48 hours after you have literally submitted the CV. Guys, just take a breath. The recruiter has got probably hundreds of applications to filter. You want to make sure that you're maximizing the time to be able to get the appropriate talent so that you can share it to the client. At least wait seven days unless the job description says shortlisted candidates will be notified by XYZ. Bingo. I love that 100%. And it's and just sort of kind of adding to what Trisha has said, often on job descriptions, there'll be a deadline. Um, and if the company and the organization is really organized, which a lot of the big companies are, they even know when they're going to be doing the interviews. So here's the thing, okay, because um, I know it sucks. It absolutely sucks when you get ghosted by an employer that you've put, you know, you've done, you've followed our tips, okay, you personalize the application, you know, you've customized it. Um, only then to find that you don't hear anything back. It's great reaching out to somebody to, uh, you know, and sort of kind of requesting some kind of an update. Um, but yeah, take a minute, just breathe um, uh, as well. Because again, it's all about that first impression. What impression are you creating? And for our candidates and for the ones that are super successful during this recruitment process, um, you tend to find that they um, exude professionalism. And that's what you want to be creating. That's the impression that you want to be creating with recruiters. Because even if you don't get hired for that particular position, if you've left a bad taste in the recruiter's mind or the HR's mind, you know, because you were too pushy, you were too needy, you didn't personalize your application. Um, guess what? Even when that next job role comes around, there you go, see? Yeah, you know, because you're going to get a red flag. You're going to get picked up as, oh God, yeah, I remember that candidate. They were super pushy. Oh, they were unprofessional. That is not the impression that you want to leave with. And so then finally, number three, okay, what's number three? The item number three that people should stop doing right now, okay, because it's harming them. It's harming their ability to get their foot in the door with that company, either getting an interview 
or even progressing during further into the recruitment process, Tricia. So what's your tip number three? Yeah, so copying and pasting their job description onto their CV or onto their LinkedIn profile. So that shows me... It shows me what you what you've done, you know, for the last twelve years, but not what impact you've had to the business. So yes, it's a bit of an easy approach to creating a resume, but at the end of the day, it doesn't show me what your unique selling proposition is. So please, guys, stop copying and pasting in bullet point what your job description is, and then having like four pages worth of job responsibilities. Got it. Okay. So in, instead of doing that, so now that we've identified copying and pasting the job description is an absolute no-no, what could they do instead? And you mentioned, you know, a, a couple of times now today, um, quantifiable metrics, quantifiable sort of kind of achievements. What do you mean by that? Can we get an example? Can you, and can you share with us? Because obviously you're looking at resumes day in, day out. Is there an example that you can use as like perhaps maybe in the last sort of kind of 48 hours where you've got a resume that just popped, that just kind of got your attention and you were like, right, I've got to interview this candidate okay what was it that that person did how did they quantify their results and their achievements that made you attractive to you that made you pick up the phone or send them an email and say why come in for an interview absolutely i would love to so much so what i'll do is i will even put it to the link to on the youtube channel so that you guys can download it yourself i'll put it in ms word document um, and then download it i'll remove the, the information and then if it's something similar that you know of your profile you can just tweak the numbers according to perhaps what your situation is so let me give it to you i'll give you a full sample no problems uh, i'll put the link in, into it or you can reach to me and i can email it to you better yet i've even got so many of these templates um on my members area so um, yeah I'd love to explain that but yeah the members area all of this Fantastic. And I'll go into, so if you if we piqued your curiosity and you're like, a oh, members area, there's some VIP mm -hmm. section that I don't know about. Yes, there is. There really is. And we'll go into more details about that. And FYI, we did a, the previous show was all about three things you should do. Um, so I know obviously today we've been covering what you should be, you know, avoiding, what you need to stop doing um, the previous video. And again, we'll put a link for that video so that you can go ahead and go watch that as well, because there's a ton of content and there's a whole host of tips as well of the things that you should be doing um and i love that trisha i love your generosity that you're going to be sharing sort of a template um, so is there anything else that you want to add to that before we kind of move into the membership and wrap up today's well, show think, uh, honestly if you look at the cv that i will share you'll understand what i mean by quantifiable metrics and sh that showcases your value so you know um a bit of a star so star situation so what was the situation um, what was the task at hand? What was the action? And then more importantly, the result or the outcome. So I, I will share that and it will it'll tell a thousand words. If it doesn't reach one of us and um, I would be happy to, to answer your questions. Well, that's so wonderful. And perhaps maybe you are sort of kind of watching today you, or you stumbled upon the show by accident because, you, you know, you happen to be looking for your next room job in Dubai um, and you came across our channel again, again. If you're enjoying our content, hit that like button, drop us a comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. Um, and But perhaps you're thinking, you know, well, hearing you ladies talk about this, but I need something a bit more personalized. I need a more one-to-one -one support, or I need actually a little bit more of um, um, sort of kind of intense support because you've recognized that actually trying to do everything on your own isn't helping you get the results that you want. And so, you know, getting that support and help will be transformative for you and your ability to get that next dream job. And so you want that support, you want to be able to, or perhaps you're just looking for quicker, faster results. You've recognized that um, doing it alone is costing you your time, it's costing you opportunities because you're missing out on opportunities. And had you have, you know, working with someone like Trisha and I would help you, allow you to achieve those winning strategies and apply them directly, okay. So what is it, that, what is this exclusive members area, Trisha? Um, that you have and how can people access it and what help and support can they expect sorry I've kind of tripled in lots of questions there no, but no, I think no, these no. are the questions that I get asked um, that I know the viewers are keen to hear about so um it's a really good uh, uh point to be able to come in too much gym work <laughs> <laughs> too, much, uh, too many weights um so the members area is really dedicated for all of those people who are looking for a job in the uae it doesn't matter whether if you're from a graduate all the way up to an aspiring c leader um you know there is uh, information resources out there for you so it is it's two dollars fifty per month but it gives access to templates and again at all of the different levels 
cover letter samples that you can use recordings with recruiters specifically in the UAE that I have done in the past to be able to give some insights to the market. Um, we have also got business cases, SWOT analysis, I mean, you name it, email pitches, you name it, I've got it. One dedicated area, most importantly and probably significant, is that it gives you the ability to search for jobs across multiple platforms. So I've, I've got a, um, a, a software program that you can type in, for example, in Indeed sales manager and then you can filter all of the jobs from indeed you can then filter all of the same jobs in linkedin in glassdoor all of the, the the job boards in one central location and now amazingly i would love to have you and all of your support services integrated there as well fabulous you heard it here right now trisha has made job searching in the uae as seamless as pain-free you know um so that you can get to your success so that you can stop struggling and start thriving thank you guys for joining us we're going to be covering a whole new topic in the next show so make sure as i said hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next show